Choosing the best jigsaw blade is key to getting quality results in your work. Sometimes you just want to cut fast, other times you want to find or finish or to make tighter turns. Your blade choice has a big effect on all of these. Jigsaws are used to cut wood more than anything else, and there's plenty of variance in the type of blade you want to use. Generally speaking, you want fewer teeth for faster cutting, more teeth for better finishes, thicker blades for more stability, and thinner blades for tighter turns. Look for the TPI of the blade, that's the number of teeth per inch, to help you choose. Here are a few guidelines to get you started. Choose a 6 TPI blade for aggressive, fast cuts when you can deal with a rougher finish. Move up to a 10 TPI blade for a good balance of cutting speed and a better finish. A 12 to 20 TPI blade is a good choice when you want a clean finish and don't mind cutting more slowly to get it. A typical wood jigsaw blade has teeth that angle up. That leaves the clean edge on the bottom of the workpiece. You could also choose a reverse cut or reverse pitch blade. That reverse direction of the teeth pointing them downward leaves the top of your material with that clean finish. Before we look at other materials, let me take a quick second to say thanks for clicking on our video. We hope it's helpful. While you're here, consider subscribing to our channel and hit that bell to get notified of our next head-to-head -head video. And when you finish watching this one, check out our top five cordless jigsaws. Jigsaw blades for cutting plastic are pretty similar to the blades you use for wood. The difference is that you probably don't need to go any higher in tooth count than a 14 TPI blade to get the results you're looking for. Some brands make blades specifically for plastic with a tooth geometry that cuts faster and cleaner through that material. If you're only using a jigsaw for wood cutting, you're missing out. The saw's ability to cut sheet metal and even pipe really adds to its versatility. Choose an 18 TPI blade for fast cutting in thin walled pipe and softer materials. Move up to a 24 TPI blade for slower, controlled cutting in thicker and harder materials. In addition to the blades we mentioned, there are specialty blades for specific materials worth knowing about. The tooth count isn't everything though. There are also differences in the angle of the teeth and sometimes even the makeup of the blade materials. For example, you can cut soft materials like foam using an ultra low tooth count blades as low as four TPI. Some even feature wave-like teeth or a smooth sharpened edge to the blade. Cutting plaster or fiberglass moves you up to blades around six TPI. If you're cutting carbon fiber or plexiglass, those blades usually have a medium tooth count in the 12 to 14 TPI range. A great way to get started with your jigsaw cutting is to buy a jigsaw blade starter set. These normally have a combination of wood, metal, and general purpose blades, and they're a great way to save some money on the front end. As you get more familiar with the materials you cut more frequently, you'll develop a feel and a preference for tooth count, style, and even specific brands. Try different jigsaw blades on scrap materials of the same type of wood and see what kind of speed, turning ability, and finish you get from each. If you need a little help moving in the right direction, we put a link in the description to the Bosch blade set that we used in this video. You have any questions about blade selection or tips you'd like to share? Leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Help us out by subscribing to our channel below. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that like button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on our latest videos.